Hey guys, just a little update on my Elder Scrolls Arena playthrough. I ended up actually getting through the entire sewer section. I got through that whole dungeon. It was it was interesting to say the least. A lot of repeating corridors, but that's what you kind of expect with these old games. Um, also, I had to fiddle around with DOSBox so much. I had to look up like certain settings that worked best for this game. To get it to run as fast as I could and get it to look as nice as it could so this is about as good as I could get it and actually it was kind of a lot of fun uh, discovering everything and finding loot and enemies and seeing how this game worked compared to the newer Elder Scrolls games on the newer systems so yeah I actually did record audio for this but now that I'm looking at it there is no voice audio so I sat there talking to myself for a long time. I really need to make sure I'm recording the audio before I do these things but to be fair I was in the middle of moving and things were getting unhooked and then hooked back up and so you can't really blame me completely on that one. Uh, so yeah, and then actually when I'm done with the sewer level uh, I actually get to leave and I go up to the town and I ask people stuff and whatnot So the waiting mechanic in this game is actually kind of interesting. So you find a like a little alcove uh, where you can wait and It will heal you up with magic and health, but you have to be in the alcove as back far as you can or else the goblins will come and spawn and then they'll get you and they'll break you from your rest and then you'll have to fight them and then blah blah blah, blah and you won't uh, completely heal yourself so it's kind of weird and interesting I'm making it seem much more confusing than it is basically it's just the, the Skyrim waiting system except it's a much easier way to heal yourself. It's the only way to heal yourself besides for using magic in this game. Uh, I don't know if there's potions because I didn't get that far. I don't think there is, but maybe there is. Uh, so, yeah, I'll enjoy that waiting system that is incorporated in here. Also, the leveling up system is done just by going into it and, you know, applying the skill points to what you want to do. Like in any other game. Will you stop messaging me? Oh my god. The skill point system is very interesting. Uh, the the weapon thing. It's all basically what you'd think an RPG would be. I haven't really found anything out of the ordinary about it that was really too crazy. Uh, but I did enjoy the... There's something special about about this. The, the simplicity. Uh, the noises are pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, the noise of sound effects for being attacked and everything are kind of scary and the music is literally just like a low drum like a in the background it's not very it's kind of creepy it's all kind of creepy with like this low this low humming noise and then all of a sudden it'll have like a freaking zombie noise and it'll be you'll be being attacked uh, so it's kind of interesting. I don't know. I kind of liked it. And when we go topside, we see that everybody has a place to be and they're all late for something. There's blacksmiths, there's inns, there's mage, mage schools, there's uh, all the things. All the things that you would find in Skyrim or Oblivion are here and available to you. Uh, the blacksmith, if you leave a sword or whatever weapon or armor with him and you come back, he would have repaired that, which is, I like that. It's, it's realistic time management. Uh, you know, they can't just, you can't just go there and fix your weapon just by pressing X. And I really like that. But the only thing about this town is that everything looks exactly the same. I couldn't find a way out. And they'd say... I'd ask them where something is, I'd say, where's the destination to the castle? And they'd tell me, like, the the direction on a compass, and I'd go that way, and I'd never find it. Uh, maybe I just would pass it because it would look like something else, but I don't know. I can't, I couldn't ever find what I was looking for, so. Overall, it was a really interesting experience, 
And I liked the map system because you could click anywhere on the map and type in a certain note so that if I had to remember where something was, like, uh, just, just type something like, go back to the blacksmith, then whenever I look on the map, it's there. And it's really handy to have instead of just one marker. And it's kind of a shame that they didn't add it into the new Skyrim games. And I don't know, it's not in Oblivion either. And it's not in Morrowind, I don't think. It's a really interesting feature. But this game was really fun, and I would love to keep playing it, but it's just, it's it's pretty difficult. <laughs> I'd have to look at a walkthrough and follow it to actually know what I'm doing, because there's not really all that much pathfinding and quest management to be done. Like, they say it one time, and then that's it. It's not recorded anywhere. But thank you guys so much for watching this little detailed review on the Elder Scrolls Arena. And I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta!